Surya Siddhanta is the oldest known work on astronomy. These records place it back 25,000 years. The earlier Vedas, they place back 45,000 years. It is not claimed that these are all originals and were brought here to be preserved. It is claimed that these were copied from the same records that the Babylonian records were taken from. It is also claimed that the originals from which these were copied are the original Osirian and Atlantean records. The rooms of this temple were arranged one above the other for seven stories and communication between the rooms was by means of a series of stone steps cut in the solid rock. The opening to gain access to the stairway was at one corner of the room and communicated directly with the stairway, which rose at an angle of 45 degrees until it reached a landing about eight feet square where the entrance to the room above was cut. There was about eight feet of solid rock left between the ceiling of the room below and the floor of the room above. The ceiling of the upper room of the seventh story terminated about 12 feet below a wide jutting ledge of rocks about 150 feet from the top of the precipice. A stairway led from this room up through an opening that communicated with the centre room so that a diagram of the whole structure would represent a huge Tau cross. The rooms above were cut so that the ledge formed a porch or balcony and the entrances were from the ledge. The cliff was soft, coarse-grained granite. The work evidently had been done with a crude hand implements and it must have taken years to accomplish. It is claimed that not a piece of timber was used when the temple was constructed. After it was acquired by our friends, they put in timber and the rooms were all very comfortable, especially on sunshiny days. We learned that since they had acquired the temple, the windows had never been closed nor entrance barred, yet very few had ever visited there unless they had seen and knew something of the true spiritual enlightenment. Our friend continued, This day is to you the beginning of a new year, the old having passed out, as it were, from your life, never to return, except, possibly, in thought, as the memory of its pleasures, its sorrows and cares, and the more engrossing thoughts of business come flooding back. Aside from that, it is forgotten, gone, to you a page torn from the yearbook of your life. We look upon it as a period of attainment, an added triumph, an ongoing, a span carrying us on to a more glorious development and achievement. A time of greater promise and enlightenment. A time when we can be of great service. When we can be younger, stronger and more loving from each succeeding experience. Your thought is, why? Our answer is, to draw your own conclusion. Choose your own life. Our chief said, without any thought of intruding, We wish to see and know. Our friend resumed. From this time on, there are definite lessons for those who do not see and know or grasp the full meaning of the goal of life well lived.